the best this. chefs are men. Where do you think I know, that they? What, what I, hold on, honey. I don't want to argue with you. This is not about an argument. Oh, so I'm, I'm not gonna. Like, I'm not arguing. I'm just making a. You keep over talking me, so we both keep like at the same time. So I'm trying to ask a question. So uh -huh. let's just tone it down a little bit. I don't cook because I'm the greatest cook. If you're the better cook, I think you should cook. Fair enough. Okay. So you want a man that won't require you to cook? No, he won't require me to cook. And if okay, he does require me to cook, he's not the man for me. Fair enough. What else do you desire? All right, all right, all right, all right. What's up, YouTube? It is your boy once again with another episode of Foolery. Okay, let's jump right into this. We have a 53-year-old woman who uh, decided to get out of the dating game 10 plus years or more, wait till her kids grow up, and now she want to jump back into this. The only problem is Whoever she dates or marries, she is not going to cook. Dead ass, I am not doing it. That's what she says. So, who, well, what kind of man you think is going to want you knowing that you will never cook? Um, and she doesn't like she's in the best shape. She has aged for that 53. And seems like she has a little... You know that little masculine thing going on with her that that aggressive voice so let's check this out and see how it go let's see what kendra can do see if she can find her somebody and y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe like share and definitely hit the notification because y'all know what to get the next video let's go if you're on youtube hello 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 what's your name danny Danny, where are you calling us from, honey? Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, By way Ohio. Of How old are you? 53. 53. What you do for a living? Um, I work at a Amazon warehouse. Amazon warehouse. Oh, pandemic. I'm a teacher pre-pandemic. Okay, but now you work at Amazon warehouse. Yep. Okay, what's your zodiac sign? Cancer. Cancer. So Danny, Columbus, Ohio, 53, Cancer, Amazon Warehouse. Do you have any kids? <laughs> I have six children. How old are your six kids? 33, 32-year-old twins, uh, 29, 25, and 12. All by the same man? Oh, excuse me, all by the same man? All by the same man. Um, the 12-year-old is not my biological daughter, but I have custody of her since two months. But okay. all five by the same man. He's deceased. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Were no you guys problem. married? No. No. Okay. Well, I'm sorry to hear that he passed away. Were you together before he passed away? Yes. Okay. Okay. So we got Danny Columbus, Ohio, 53, cancer, mom to six. Um, unfortunately, the dad passed away and she works at Amazon Warehouse. What kind of man are you looking for, honey? Um one that can cook and i'm gonna tell you why uh, every man that i've been with have has cooked has been a chef has been to culinary school um i don't see anything wrong with it now i i have cooked because i've had to single mom but um if i don't have to cook i'm not gonna cook period that's what period. every man providing 100 percent too oh yeah i believe it well now i would love for you guys to comment on this one let me know what y'all think about this. Are women just getting a little crazy out here or just demanding too much? I don't, I didn't date when my kids were coming up. This is, you know, just recently after my kids were grown, but yeah. So he was, so you're saying every, every, man, every I, I should say this, every man that's been in my life, that's been in my life, uncles, uh, my uncle, I've never seen my I'm, I'm, I'm talking about men that you dated. So I want to be clear with the oh, men that I've dated. Yes. My so, kid's dad was a, was a chef. He cooked every meal. And someone that I've dated probably about two years ago, I've never, I've never cooked for him. Let me just, never. okay, let me just ask, okay. Let me just ask you a couple questions. So your kid's dad, was his profession a chef? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so now that might be a little different because he's actually, that's his job, right? The, the best chefs are men. Where do you think that they- what, what I, Hold on, honey. 
I don't want to argue with you. This is not about an argument. Oh, so I'm, not gonna, I'm not arguing. I'm just making a point. You keep over talking me, so we both keep working at the same time. So. Oh, who used to say that? You can't over talk me. You keep over talking me. Where did she get that from? Hmm. Right. Can't. I'm trying to ask a question. So uh -huh. let's just tone it down a little bit. Now, what I'm saying is when you marry a chef, if a woman was a chef, that's probably what they do naturally. Now, my next question is, outside of that man, you said the other guy cooked. Did he pay all your bills, too? We live in two different households. No, he didn't pay all my bills. Okay, so the point I was making is a lot of women come on my show and they're saying they, they don't want to cook and they also want a man to pay all the bills. So I have met a lot of men who feel as though if I'm paying all the bills, the least you can do is cook. You, you feel as though that is not something that a man should ask for? Um, I understand paying all the bills, but if you have a job, like I work 10 hour days. So I work 10 hour days. I'm, if I'm sure he, he would have a job. Um, no, if he's the better cook, if, if why would I want, why would you want to eat my food? I, my food is not great. I only cook out of need. I don't cook because I'm the greatest cook. If you're the better cook, I think you should cook. Man, we hadn't gotten about five, good five minutes into this thing, and she's already shown so many signs of aggressive masculine behavior. Over talking, um, won't let her talk, getting kind of frustrated with Kendra challenging her, making these little faces, and just so dead on just what she's not going to do. As if she got all these options out here. I, I, Y'all ladies be killing me, man. Y'all still thinking y'all 25 and 30 years old. You 53 heading on up the road. You half 100. And you still out here thinking that you have all these options. What man needs that? Not want it. Who needs it? Like, shit, lady, you crazy. All these demands, like, better go find you one of them sorry dudes who ain't had a woman in about 10 years. Fair enough. Okay. So you want a man that won't require you to cook? No, he won't require me to cook. And if okay, he does well, require me to cook, he's not the man for me. Fair enough. What else do you desire? Um, someone who is um, self-aware, someone who likes to travel, someone who is respectful, um, no addicts, no um, adulterers. Don't call me if you're separated. Don't have time for that. Um. <laughs> you know what's funny, man? When these ladies come on here and then they say they don't want these certain type of people, um, cheaters, um, adulterers, addicts, and all this kind of stuff, who is going to come on the show and say, yeah, yeah, Kendra, um, I'm, I'm a cheater, I'm an adulterer, uh, uh, I'm an addict, and you know, and but but you know I'm looking for somebody who that have these qualities gonna come on and admit that they have this. So how would Kendra know to find this shit is so stupid? What y'all don't know, the point y'all don't know what you want. Y'all just saying stuff. I'm surprised she didn't say God fearing, cause that's the that's the black woman's anthem. Gotta be God fearing. Then we asked, when last time you went to church? Oh, uh, uh, uh. Y'all just be saying shit. Just saying stuff. Just stop it. Sit down with somebody and come up with something. No abusers. Okay. Just curious, you said that your children's dad that passed away, you guys did not get married. No. Uh, so we, I was never married. Never right. married. You guys have five kids together. Why did you not get married? Um, I, I was, we were engaged at one point. Um, I don't know. Um, I mean, his, his death was sudden. It wasn't, it, he was young, 37, I want to say. Okay. So, you know, it just never know? happened before he passed away. It just never happened before he passed away. Okay. Did you guys live together too? 
We didn't live together. No. You didn't live together. So y'all had separate not. households. Yes. Yes. Did not live together. Yes. So you said he was the cook. I thought this was like a household relationship. So you had your own house. Did all the kids live with you or were they split? They they lived with me. He was over every day after work. He brought us food. He came up, he either brought us food that he cooked or he came and cooked for us okay. every day. Now this, and y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think, but this sounds like a married man type of situation. Sound like she was messing with a married man and she was a kept woman. And cause she said he fixed food and brought like product from the restaurant. He was working and brought them food home, fed them and went back to where he was staying. He passed away at 37 and she didn't start. She's 53. So she said she didn't date until the kids got out the house or stuff for the last one or two, whatever. But it sounded like that what Kendra should have asked her. Was this man married? or in a committed relationship with another woman. That's what she should have asked her, because that's what it sounds like. Just curious, have you ever lived with a man? Never. Never, okay. Never. Never. You're proud of that? Huh? Is that something no, you're saying? No, I'm saying I never, I never have, I'm just answering your question. I've never. Oh. Is that the desire now, or do you still want to live in two different households? Um. No, I mean, if I get married, no, I want one household. One household. Okay. 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 What are your, do we do your deal breakers? Um, I didn't give you my deal breakers, but, um, no, no abusers, no addicts, um, no separated men. Um, you have to like children. Sorry. <clears throat> um, you have to know how to cook. <laughs> um, about it no i mean of course no lying no cheating all that good stuff i'm not trying to bark on well stay on this long but i, I do I, just kinda, I guess my mind is trying to understand so with your children's dad where you got i know you guys had kids together but were y'all in a relationship yes ma'am why did y'all not live together then um i because i i came down here first um i said i came down here first i'm from we're both from cleveland but um I don't know. It's just it. We never merged households. We weren't married, so I mean, I, had we been married, we would have been in one household. We right, weren't married. See, I, I guess I'm trying to figure out because you came on and said you've never cooked for a man. He's always cooked. So I actually no, I thought, said I never cooked. Well, I, you're right. That's right. That would be correct. Yeah. Right. So I thought when you were making that statement, this was a man, and then and I assume. So this is my fault from assuming because I have five kids together. Y'all live together and he was the sole cook. But now as I'm getting more deep dive, you guys never even lived in the same household together. And he came over here and cooked every day. Provided so he came and cooked every day. So why have two separate households with more bills if he's gonna come over your house every day? Because he had five children over here. That's a lot of children. Right, but what I'm saying is if you're telling me he came over your house every single day, why have a separate home? Gotcha. Gotcha. Told you something. She's lying. There's a reason why you guys didn't live in the same household. And he comes over there every day and cook and feed the kids and you and then go back home. Yeah. That's just the way that's just the way we did it. We, when we we our plan was to get married and join households, but we were we weren't we never got married. That's just what I, that's just how we were going to do things. But I have cooked. I mean, I've cooked when, because I was a single mom. I mean, I had cooked, but it was just because I had to cook. It's not because, do you, do you understand what I'm saying? No. Like, I, I have cooked after he passed away because I was a single mom. I, I didn't date while, while. Here's I the deal. Cooked. There's not, there's exceptions to every rule, right? And, I, and I'm yeah. not saying this. To, but you came on very strong. I'm not cooking. If the man could cook, I want a man that doesn't understand I know how to cook. And I respect mm -hmm. that. I respect that. Now, I mm -hmm. want to say this. There's an exception for every rule. But every wife, right. every wife I know enjoys cooking for her man. Every wife I know that lives with her husband, they cook. Uh, 
So oh, you okay, never been I, mm, So you can so you can see it on this. I'm not cooking, but you also never been a wife either, honey. That there, what Kendra said is true. Every wife I know, especially if they have kids, they love cooking for their family. They love sitting down, want to sit down, have a dinner with everybody sitting at the table. They love it. My wife loves to do that stuff. She loved to cook for my, my son's friends. When we have people, oh, she loves to cook for company, me, if whoever's here, when, me, when my son come home, she want to just cook these meals. I mean, this is weird that this woman just refused to cook for anybody other than her kids. And she probably don't cook for them. They probably just fend for themselves and she just get whatever. I mean, let's just be real. She's too adamant about it. Just Oh, you're right. You're right. So let's just keep going. But as a wife, I won't cook. So if a man is looking for a wife and I know the guy said he he if he works he and he doesn't come home to a meal, he's not the person for me. Because if even if I cook, I would probably cook. He would probably cook 95% of the time. Well, honey, you're 53 years old and you never got a husband. Maybe no one's going to sign up for that. I didn't date. I didn't date. I wasn't looking for a husband. I was never looking for a husband. Well, why I, was you looking for a husband? husband you, five, if you, don't you have cook. five kids with one man. You should have been looking for a husband as you was having five kids with a man. No, what I'm saying is, he, like I said, he he died when he, he's older than me. He died at 37. After that, I wasn't looking for me. I was raising my children. I mean, the more she talks, the more she gives things away. Now she said he died at thirty-seven, and then she just mentioned she was younger than him. So, let's say you was thirty. So he's put five kids inside of you, and don't marry you. He'll come over and bring y'all food. Where make sure the kids are fed. But doesn't want to doesn't want to marry you, and you good with that. You good with that after five kids. It ain't like y'all had one. You had five spread out. They weren't back to back. They were spread out. So you probably start messing with him about twenty, and he passed away when you about thirty, because he was thirty seven. But why didn't you get married in between that? You gave the man five kids. That's what Kendra's trying to say. You've never been a wife, but you gave a man five kids, and he was over there every day taking care of the kids, but he would go home. She just don't want to say it. That man had a woman. Hell yeah, he had a woman. I understand that, I but never the, the sentiment is, as you were having, you, you should have been requiring marriage when you were having five kids with a man. That's the time you're looking for a husband. I was. Okay. All right, Kendra. All right. She like she about to come through that camera and snatch you up. All that mean face going on over there. She look like she is fuck. I mean, <laughs> she like she mad. <laughs> about to make me say something. She mad, mad. <laughs> Let's keep going, Danny. Does a guy have to look a certain way? No. No. Does he have Just to make a certain way? Does he have to make a certain amount of money? Um, no. No. Let's do the Kendra Cam. Yeah. Okay. I see you, boo. Thank you. Right. So, Danny, what's the age you want to um date? Um, I would say um forty-five to fifty-five. 45 to 55. Okay. 45 to 55. Um, when was your last relationship? About two years ago or on the pandemic. I don't know. About two years ago, I would say. Two years ago. Okay. Two years ago. Um, you don't have to answer, but I'm, are you waiting for a relationship this time or are you on a celibacy journey? I'm not on a celibacy journey, okay. but yeah, I, I, I mean, I don't, I don't, if I'm not in a relationship, no, I don't, I'm not out here being intimate with anybody. I'm, I'm inside, not outside. I understand that. Okay. What are three flaws you have to work on, Danny? Um, three flaws. Um, I'm impatient. Um, 
I'm a procrastinator. That's a blessing and a curse because I work good under pressure, but um, it's not good. Um, my last flaw, um, I am very stubborn. Okay, very stubborn. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Because I'm every woman except for a cook. <laughs> In what ways are you I'm every, woman? I'm every woman except for a cook? Yeah, no, explain no. that. Explain what ways you're every woman. You see how these women, like I said, they all say the same kind of stuff. They come on and give these vague answers. I'm every woman. What, what does that mean? Except I don't cook. Yeah, we know that. But what does that mean? I'm every woman. So a man's supposed to know what that means. If he heard that, he's like, oh, well, she, she do everything. I mean everything. Then she probably sitting there with her mad face. Uh -uh. No, I don't. Gonna turn into a little dude on you. Be in there, want to arm wrestle or some shit. Who knows, man? <laughs> Oh, I am a good um, partner, team member. Um, I um, am a I am ambitious. I'm um, a great mother. Um, um, I'm, I'm, I'm everything. You're everything. Okay, you're everything. All right, let's do it. This is Danny. Columbus, Ohio, mom to six, all by the same man. 53 um, is a cancer. She's 53 years old. Her zodiac sign is a cancer and works at an Amazon warehouse. How could the man... Now, let me ask you this. Do you even want a husband or do you just want somebody to continue to date like you've been doing all your life? I've not dated all my life. That's what I was trying to tell you, but you were, we were talking at the same time. I've not dated all my life. I, I've hardly dated. Well, period. been in relation... Okay, let me... Okay, so let me be clear in my question. Do you look, are you looking for a husband to live with or do you like the, you have your own home, I have my own home relationship? I'm looking for a husband and if I have a husband, we will live in the same household. Okay, that's what I'm asking. That's what, but that's what you've been doing, right? You have your own home, I have my that's own That's not what I've been doing. That's not what I've been doing. What the? I did that with my kid's dad, and we we were gonna get married. We we never made it to get married. He passed away. That's just life. I understand that, me. but I understand that. But then you told me you had another relationship, and it was the same dynamic. Or did I miss something? You missed something. Okay, so you have lived with a man before. I've never lived with a man, and I've never dated until a couple of years ago. Until all my kids were grown and out of the house. Okay. Okay. All I was saying was, is it fair to say that for your relationship life, you know, you had a separate home and the man you were in a relationship with had a separate home? A man that I was dating, we lived, we definitely lived in different homes, different homes. That's all that I was saying, that you never cohabitated with a man. Oh, no, I haven't. No. That's all I no, was saying. No, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to live with somebody I'm just dating. That's not going to happen. Kendra, just hang up on the little arm wrestler. She don't know what she's talking about because she lying. That's why she can't get it right. You're lying, you little arm wrestler. Sitting all... Understandable. Understandable. Mm -hmm. how, how can the guy reach out to you, honey? Uh Will you keep me posted how it goes, honey? No problem. <laughs> no worries. Um... Yeah. Oh man, man, little arm wrestle was was rough. So can you gotta get you a drink after this? Cause I know I'm gonna go get me one. God, dog, was it that hard to talk to you ladies? Look how hard it was for her to talk to this woman. And just imagine if she talking to a dude. See, that's what we had to go through. Like, dang. Well, guys, y'all let me know. Hit me in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think this woman was messing with a, a married man or a man that's with someone 
and she was a kept woman. She had all the signs. Because there was no need for that man to go. If he's over there every day taking care of the kids, why would he go home? And they was good with that. And he was only 37 years old. So he must have been making that money, and he was doing pretty good. So, yeah, she was a kept woman. A kept woman. Definitely. Let me know, guys, what y'all think. So, But let me get up out of here. Enough's enough. I'm late for the gym, and I got to go get it in. So you guys know what to do. Hit that subscribe, like, share, and that notification bell. And as always and always and always, it is your boy, Mr. Nobody. And I'm up out of here. Peace. All right, all right, all right, all right.